Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Ruby development environment in Sublime Text. But first, if you like videos like this where I show you how to install and set up software, make sure to subscribe. Okay, so I've got Sublime Text open with a Ruby folder open and a file called test.rb. Okay, and one of the things that I want to have when I'm working with Ruby is some code checking so I can keep myself from making mistakes. Okay, so what we're going to do is install packages to do that. Okay, so I'm going to do Control Shift P to bring up the command palette and I'm going to type package. And as I type package, I get this option to install package control. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, and the first package I'm going to install is Sublime Linter. So I'm going to type package and then I get the option to install a package. Okay, it's gonna go out and fetch the packages and I'm gonna type in sublime linter, hit enter. Okay, so that successfully installed and I wanna install another package. So I'm gonna to start to type package again to package control, install package. I'm gonna type sublime linter dash rubo cop. Okay, and I'm gonna install that one. Okay, now you do need to have RuboCop installed on your system. So to do that, you could just type, uh, on Linux anyways, you could type sudo gem install RuboCop if it's not installed. I've done that already, so it's already set up. So I'm good to go there. Okay, to make sure everything takes effect, I'll usually uh, quit out of Sublime and then restart Sublime. Okay, and... Um, now what I can do is I can uh, go ahead and start writing my Ruby program. So for instance, I might say something like name equals Tim here. And then if I save it, it's starting to show, hey, you've got a couple warnings here, not errors necessarily, but a couple warnings. So three warnings here. So um, the first one is we're missing the frozen string literal comment, okay? So I can get rid of that if I go up here and I can do a comment and say frozen underscore string underscore literal true, okay? And I need to have a space in between here. And if I save that, it'll take a moment, but that warning should go away. Okay, so now we have two warnings, all right? Um, useless assignment to variable name, okay? Um, but the second warning, we're gonna use name in a moment, but um, the second warning is we've got to put these in single quotes, okay? So now with Sublime Text, one of the built-in features that I can use, um, now that I have my linting going on, is I can use some snippets. So if I type iffy and hit tab, I get an if else end block, okay? And I can start typing, you know, something like if name double equals Tim. Well, then we're going to do something. We're going to put, uh, we'll do puts, um, uh, something like hi, and we'll use some string interpolation, hi name, okay? And it's showing me, hey, you should use single quotes here because again, you're not using string interpolation. Else, we'll do a puts and say, hi, I don't know who you are. And then we'll also use string interpolation for the name there, okay? All right, um, let's see what else we got. Okay, so all our warnings go away now. And we can build this file with Control-B. So I could do Control-B to build it. And that works pretty well. Um, if I wanted to change it to something like Joe, I don't even have to save the file, I just do Control-B and it builds it. Hi, I don't know who you are, Joe. So we're, we're doing pretty good. One thing I do like to add, especially if you're taking user input, which really doesn't work with, well with the, the build system, is another package called Terminus. So, I'm going to start to type package. We'll do package control, install package, and we'll install the terminus package here. Okay, and now that that's installed, what I can do is I can start to type terminus, open, and then I get the option open default shell and panel. So I can open a little terminal on the bottom and I can run this file with ruby test.rb and the file runs fine and that works better if I'm taking user input from the console. So yeah, that's uh, a simple setup for Sublime Text, but an effective one. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, uh, could you please give it a like as it will help the video out a lot. Thank you.